Just swung on and missed, and Meeks finally retired on strikes. It winds and fires. 3-2, swing and a miss. Strike out for Jordan Birch. 2-2 pitch, swung on, hit weakly up the middle. Colby Hoffman with a backhanded play. The 1-2 pitch from Birch called for a strike on the outside corner. 2-2 pitch, swung on, this one is hit into shallow left center, could be trouble, Keller makes a diving catch in left field, and that is how the inning ends, so outstanding defense for the Redbirds, and UMass goes in order in the top of the ninth. First pitch, swung on, hit left center, that is off the wall, Green around second, she's going to get waved around, and no, now they're going to stop her at third. But a one-out double by Javon Hamilton in the winning run stands at third base. As Keller with a 2-2 once again gets away. Wild pitch. Green comes home in time. The Redbirds win it one nothing in nine, and they stay alive. So Plore gives up just two hits, uncorks a wild pitch, and that's the ball game. First game, definitely a, a tough, tough game from an offensive standpoint. Uh, finally cracked a hit, and, and then ended up uh, getting a break in that whatever inning it was to, to score the winning run. And Javon Hamilton, the first pitch of the game is driven into left center. It's a leadoff double for Hamilton and right out of the gate, the Redbirds have a runner in scoring position. Hamilton at third, pitch on the way, swung on, hit into right center, that one gets down. Kay is around first, she will stand up at second. No, she's gonna go to third. Play to third base is not in time. It's an RBI triple for Elizabeth Kay, and the Redbirds lead it one to nothing here in the top of the first. One-two pitch. Swing and a miss. Two from Birch to Siski. Swing and a miss. Strike three, and Jordan Birch strikes out Siski. 1-0 pitch. Swung on, hit weekly left side. Fielded by Kay. Throw across the diamond in time, and that does it. Oh, home run by Colby Hoffman, her second of the year, 2-0. Illinois State, the Hoffman goes yard. The Redbirds double their lead on their fourth in the game, and the Redbird fans erupt. Fans on their feet, Birch will face Peterson, who's 0 for 2 today. First pitch, swung on, hit left field, Keller's in on it, makes the catch, and the Redbirds are going to Sunday. Jordan Birch with 16 shutout innings today against UMass and DePaul. Jordan did a tremendous job in the circle in both games. I thought uh, that momentum from the first game really carried over to the second game. We came out strong, got that run in the first inning, and uh, we never let up, and it was really, really good to see. 2-1 to K, swung on and hammered into right center field. That gets by Stevens at second base, and the Redbirds have their first hit. 1-1 one, one pitch, swung on, hammered left side. Great play by Green, throw to first in time. Pitch on the way, swung on. This one is hit into shallow center, gets down for a base hit. Swung on, and this one is hammered into the gap in left center. Hamilton is around second. They're going to waver around third. Throw to the plate won't even be made, and the Redbirds cut the lead in half. That's how the season comes to an end. Redbirds will end 2012, 37 and 23. I, I thought it was a tremendous ball game. Um, compared to the game one that we played versus Missouri, I thought our kids really stepped it up, uh, really improved from all aspects of the game. We 
got one game further than we did last season when we were here, and that was an awesome accomplishment for us. And uh, we want to keep building on that. We were looking to go to Super Regionals next year and keep growing as a program.